All right, this is one of those cooking segments we would like to start with the eating, and then you can explain <laughs> everything to us. So, yes, our next guest right here grew up cooking barbecue with her dad, became the family's primary cook at 10, at yes, 10 sir. years old, and she has since become one of the best pit masters in the world, winning the title of Master of Q on Food Network's BBQ Brawl. That's amazing. All right, she joins us now to share her award-winning recipe, perfect for your next tailgate. Welcome, champion pit master, Erica Blair right. Roby. Nice to have you in the house. So yeah, I'm going to be tailgating next week, and I can't wait. Homecoming, UGA. So tell us what we're cooking here and how we get started. All right. Well, I got the best recipe for you. We are doing some tailgating ribs. I like to call them my running backs, not my baby backs, my running backs. <laughs> so I'm putting you to work though, because right. in a pit oh, crew, goodness. you're all in. Yeah, so who's good. coming Sorry. over to pull off the membrane? I'll do that. Ooh, That's the big part. deal. Good. All right. Then so right. I'm putting Here's you on rub. So come I'll over here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do. Dump it all. This is your art. You dump that all, all in of there. It. Yes. What am I dumping here, by the way? You're going to get that mustard powder, that granulated garlic, that paprika, the pepper, the salt, right. everything you want to do, you can create it right here. All right. You All right. over here, now this is really important because okay. this determines if we have championship yep. ribs or not. All right. You got to pull that membrane. So you're going to pick it up right here, uh -huh. put this hand down right here, oh. and pull it off. So why we do this is because you want flavor to get on both sides of your ribs. You leave that on, it's like a Band-Aid. Nothing's ah, getting through. So, so you got to get that membrane. You are a pro. All right. <laughs> I got that membrane. That was amazing. All right, so now from here, I'm just going to have you come right here. You're going to stir. So you're stirring all that. All right. We're making barbecue sauce right now. Let's get some of our brown sugar. We're putting it in right brown there. Brown sugar first? Yep. Let's right. do that because we can toast it. We're getting a lot ah. of flavor in there. And then we're going to just start pouring everything else in got there. It. This so is ketchup. This is your ketchup. And now that is looking Whoa. uniform and gorgeous. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There she goes. All right. And so what you're doing is you're just melding all these flavors. So this we're just getting them in. Go ahead. We got some garlic, garlic, some onion powders coming in there. Olive oil. A little oil. Oh, oh. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Let's get in there. And now this got... is our liquid smoke and mm, also just so a little good. Worcester sauce. Yeah. And that's optional for you, but if you're making this and you're not going to be able to put it on the grill, you live in an apartment, put some liquid smoke in there. It is mm. totally fine. And then we're just going to stir that up. Okay. Now, here's the important thing right over here on these ribs. Yeah. That looks beautiful. We're putting the layer of mustard on both sides. Yum. So I got some gloves in case you don't want to get your hands dirty, okay, but you, you, you go like this, this with the and put it in. Yes. Okay. You're, just, you're just gonna slather it on. Well, I love mustard. So our mustard actually acts as a binder, and that is what's gonna attract the smoke and keep all of your seasoning on. And wow. it also cooks out, so you will not taste it. Ah. This is a championship trick that most of us do out on the circuit. It has ah. nothing to do with flavor. Nothing said. to this do with flavor. That's crazy. This is like glue. It's just gonna keep okay. everything you put on there, so all your hard work isn't gone. All right, there you go. And now let's just throw some seasoning on there all real right. quick. Yep, and you want to go real high oh. because you want to make sure that you're oh, just, just getting dumped it right. Every, hey, you know what? Ooh. That might be the award-winning trick, though. You never know. <laughs> it's gonna be flavorful. <laughs> it's gonna be flavorful. Okay. And so then we're just gonna do the other side as well. Okay. In your turn okay. for the mustard. Oh, Let's do that. Sorry. Sorry. You can mix them. That's okay. the beauty of this. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you get it Does on there. Everybody knows this there championship trick, or this is one of yours. I think we yeah, just right. put it okay. out there now. The whole okay, world. Okay, everybody knows, knows now. Okay, so there we go. All right. And then Imagine after we put our seasoning on, <laughs> just like that, and it's right. looking good. Okay. There you go. So what we want to do is we just want to take it over, and we're putting wow. it on our grill. If you're making these in the oven, it's the same process. You're just going to put it on the grill, just like that. And now one of the secrets you want to do, bunch your ribs up. Because however oh. they lay is how they're going to cook. So if you want that big, meaty bite, it's coming from the way that you bunch okay. these up. Okay, you got to tell, it's all yeah. about heat and time. This is the heat trick with the ribs. So what are we doing here? Yeah, so we would do it at 250, okay. and we're going to put a little char on these. So we're going to let the flames hit them right at the end. And we're doing a 3 two, one method. Three hours the first time, then we're going to take them off. This is what they're going to look like at this point. Now, we're about to give them a little sleeping bag. This is the barbecue sleeping <laughs> bag. This, this is the most important step. Mm -hmm. This is what tenderizes your ribs. So you're going to take a little liquid. I use apple juice. And you're just going to oh. pour it on there. And now your ribs have already been smoking for about three hours. Mm -hmm. And now this little sleeping bag, this is what it does. Wow. And it's steaming. And now it's going right back on the grill. For how long? It's going to go on for two hours. Okay. 
and then they're going to be nice and tender. So you got to be patient when you cook. This is, I'm not a slow cook. This, this is, isn't, this you is all an all have day. a skill. This okay, is an all and day this event. is our So this result. is the finished product, and now what we want to do is we want to baste them. This is the beauty shot. Here. You want to make sure, right here, you want to make sure that you have the prettiest looking ribs in the neighborhood. Okay. You want everybody to be jealous. <laughs> so mm. this is how it's art. I'm eating already. <laughs> okay. And that's the truth. But yeah, you got to be paid. Uh, the, the slow Gorgeous. cook is the thing. The, uh, how are they, Rose? They're so, so good. And it's the, so good. I love the flavor. Well, Erica, thank you, you are so welcome. much. We got the prettiest ribs into all the Times Square right now. <laughs> and, and the folks, tastiest. And the recipe. You can go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food and scan the QR code on your screen. Thank you so much. It's good thank to have you. you here. You were one of the absolute best. So we're learning thank from you. the best here. So thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.